I guess only the Sussexes really know mm-hmm. why she isn't coming. What kind of message do you think it's sent that Megan did not attend? Or will not attend, sorry. I think Megan not attending is a huge relief for everybody involved. Um, and I think the um, people will create their own messages, I'm sure. My reading of it is um, she has been uh, pretty clever in that you know, she knows that if she turns up, the story will become about her. All cameras will be trained on her to see, you know, how does she look? Is there a nervousness in her eyes? All those things. Then there'll be shots of does she give side eye to Kate or does Kate give side eye to her? Everything will be about what was the relationship with Megan being there. We'll get some of that with Harry, but it would be even bigger if Megan had been there. So if you're being positive about Megan, you'll say she's done the right thing by not making herself the story. Mm-hmm. If you're being negative about Megan, uh, you could say that it's appalling that the daughter-in-law of the king isn't attending his coronation. Um, and I guess only the Sussexes really know mm-hmm. why she isn't coming. Archie's birthday, it's a red herring. You know, they could bring him with them and celebrate the birthday in London. Um, or as Harry's going to try and do, they could both get back to be there for his birthday. Um uh, but, you know, in, in most families, I would imagine if there hadn't been this big falling out, they'd have put Archie and Lilibet on a plane and they'd all have flown over and had a nice birthday party at Frogmore. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.